Hi, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Norma, and I have been such a bad girl. I just don't understand if, well, let me explain what's going on. I have been snacking and snacking and grazing. And, you know, you don't want to be the party pooper at the parties. And so you go to someone's house and they're having tamales and you have one. And not only one, then you have a piece of cake without the frosting, as if that's going to make it any better. Uh, and then there's nuts over here and there's chocolate covered uh, pretzels and there's... Um, cinnamon frosted cake and crumb cake and uh, the special cupcakes that your nieces bake and uh, holiday nuts and crackers and cheese and all those lovely lovely things like buñuelos and candy canes and then your secret Santa at work gets you a box of chocolates and you say I know what will happen I'll eat one and I'll get sick and that'll teach me right but then you find that you can eat one. A little later on, you could eat another one. And then you know what I got to doing? Getting a bite off of one at a time and saying to myself, okay, if I get a bite, oh, this one hasn't been bitten. If I get a bite off of each chocolate, it's not the same as eating the whole box because I've only eaten the total of one maybe one candy bar come on you know later on you're gonna go get another little bite and yeah this box is just here and since I'm the only one here at home yeah what else have I found out that I can eat that I didn't think I could eat before Cheetos these are pretty snappy they're cheddar jalapeno. They're crunchy. Bag's empty. What else? Okay, I thought I would do this. On the candy dishes, you know where there's candy? Sure, I'll put the little chocolates that are decorated like little gifts. Charleston shoes. And all these different candies. And then, of course, since I'm a sensible gastric bypass patient, I'll put a protein bar just in case I want to not eat those chocolates, right? I'll have this. Or I could have a South Beach bar, which is really good. High in protein, low in calories, only about 100 calories each. These are the only two that I put out here. Most of the candies in these three dishes are gone. These are still here. What does that tell you? Okay, I have not stooped to having soda. I have not had soda. I am worried about it. But I did have a glass of wine, of course. I mean, why not? <clears throat> I have this taco. Everybody's eating two or three. I ate one. And it was, I hadn't eaten all day, so my excuse for eating that taco it wasn't fried or anything. But my excuse for eating it was, well, I haven't eaten all day and I have to get some protein in. So, 10 minutes later, I had another one, and it fit, didn't bother me, didn't dump. So, yeah, that's the kind of holidays I am having. I am trying lots of things and realizing that I'm not dumping anymore, and I could pretty much eat just about everything as long as it's not fried. Last month, I did eat fried foods, and I did get sick, so... That saved me and cured me from trying to eat the fried foods. Exercise. Okay, I was supposed to start the Couch to 5K last Monday. Last Monday. Because today is Monday again, and I have not started. I have my MP3 player. It's already ready with all that nice music, and I'm raring to go. I've got the shoes. I've got the clothes. By the way, my size 10s are starting to fit me a little snug. Hmm, do you think it might be because of all that snacking? Let me show you. I'm trying to get some accountability here. Size 10. They used to fit kind of loose. Okay, a little bit loose. They're still a little loose. But still, I mean, what's going on with me? I don't want to.
want to get big again? I mean, I worked so hard, you know, giving up so much, lost all my hair practically, went bald. For what? To gain it back? Ah, <sighs> okay. I can tell you that I am going to be giving away this little baby. What does it contain? Hot cocoa, rich milk chocolate. Six one ounce envelopes of Swiss Miss. I'm not going to repackage it and give it away. I'm just going to give it away. Say, here, I know you like hot chocolate. It's been so cold. And this will keep you nice and warm. It's not that I don't appreciate these gifts. I really like them. They're very nice, sweet people at work and everything. But they don't realize that all this sugar is going to cause havoc on these hips. Yeah. So, all my other friends were really sweet. They gave me lots of lotions and creams and, you know, the glitzy, glittery stuff that glistens when you go out. So, I guess they're giving me hints. Maybe I need to go out and enjoy um, my friends and my family and go dancing with them and have parties and all that. But stay away from the snacks. Oh, I've got a whole package big package of these things. I think I'll take them to my grandkids tomorrow and let them finish them off for me. And as far as these little babies, the couch to 5k tomorrow. And I am going to go and give these away right now. Yes, and to the long round circular file that's waiting for me outside in the trash. Yeah, so that's me. And that's what I'm doing. So yes, I'm going to do this for myself. And I'm going to join Vicky because Vicky's doing it. And Watch Me Get Skinny is doing it. We're getting back together on the bandwagon together. And we're going to lose some of this weight that we gain. And you know what? We've got to forgive ourselves for overdoing it these holidays. And New Year's is coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think... What can I do for myself? Get rid of all these temptations that are just there. And you know what? I'm not even thinking about, oh, it's, it's such a bad thing. Don't do it. I'm not even, I'm just guiltless, guiltless, just getting it and eating it and eating it and eating more. And if it's not there, I think that's going to be better for me. And load up your pantry with a lot of guiltless stuff like maybe, I don't know, fruit, popcorn, uh, some nuts that don't have butter, toffee, cream stuff, and request that when you're going to your New Year's Eve parties that you might be going to, uh, bring some healthy substitutes and be responsible and accountable to yourselves. Like, I'm going to be. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to be so weak and to even be guiltless, feel guiltless about eating this stuff. And just keep putting it in my face because I'm going back into the old habits. If I don't stop myself now, gosh, what is the point? What is the point of going through this gastric bypass and going through the surgery and going through the months of losing my hair, which I'm starting to get, see? I'm starting to let it grow out now. It's growing out and even kill. It's starting to look a little bit better. I'm not looking like a, well, let's, never mind about that. But, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. So are you in with me or are you again me? Are you going with me or are you again me? Who used to say that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start tomorrow. Nope, I'm going to start right now. Now that I've got my uh, myself all revved up, yeah, I'm going to go put on one of those CDs that I had with the workouts and I'm going to work out right now because I feel good and I feel good that I made this promise to myself. So there you go for New Year's. Start thinking about those resolutions. What are you going to do for yourself? Hmm. Think ahead. Plan. Make sure that you have healthy alternatives. Um, if you must have some of these, just get a small little bag and portion it out maybe into two so that you can have it once in a while. Share with a friend. If you get these, say thank you graciously, and then give it away right away. 